Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. <laughs> it's me, Lavender Clothesline, and Lisa. <laughs> Aren't you gonna like make up a name or something? Summer Violet. Slower. Summer Violet Slower. Do you guys all know that story? I've told that story probably once or twice, but here we go. This is how we're starting the video. We're gonna tell the story of how Lisa got named Summer Violet when she was little. So as many of you know, I'm just taking over. That's one. So many of, as many of you know, um, both Melissa and Lisa were adopted. They are my girls from my first marriage. And after I got divorced and I had two girls, I was single for about three years and met my second husband. And he and I adopted the girls together. That's what happens when you have that situation. I had to re-adopt my own girls. I know, crazy. What a way to start a whole video. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so it came time to go before the judge and the girls were brought in front of the judge and how old were you you were young 11 no oh yeah I think you were much younger than that weren't you Melissa was in was she in fifth grade well however old they were they were young and the judge told the girls um, that they could pick a different name now meanwhile my new husband and I were in the back of the courtroom because the girls were brought forth in front of the judge am I telling this right yeah so he said you know girls you could have a different name now Lisa was not about any of this she wasn't having any of it she just looked at him like what are you talking about <laughs> and Melissa who you know fresh bloom and clothing so you can go over there and leave a comment on her channel about all of this craziness decided that she would keep Melissa but she wanted two L's and that's the story of how she got two L's I named her with one L and I was like all right whatever I was really easygoing or probably exhausted mm. then Melissa came up with the great idea that Lisa should ditch the Lisa name and take on Summer Violet so how'd that go <laughs> yeah not so much <laughs> <laughs> But from then on, we've always called Lisa Summer Violet, and she now has Instagram with Summer Violet. So if you ever want to see what goes on in her life, you can see one of her Instagram. What do we call our Instagrams? Our Instagram page. Identification. Account. account. Yeah. Something like that. And it's under Summer Violet. So um, um, Summer Violet Slumber. Oh, Summer Violet Slumber. You want to tell the story? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can you tell today we have a whole video? <laughs> I'm over it. Day two, I was like, when do we get to go out? And what is today? Today is like a week, isn't it? Yeah, a week today. Okay. No, I it's know Monday. There, are, there are worse things in life than having to stay in, aren't there? And I, thank God I have food and my car has gas. I'm in good health. It's all good. I even have a couple of masks. They're not the real masks, but they count for me. And yeah, and I'm just like a little stir crazy. <laughs> but today we have a whole video for you. So thank you so much for joining into our craziness. Hopefully we will be just as much fun as we were last time so be fun and we'll get started so today's haul came from donations once again we got donations and that is how I am sourcing right now for lavender clothesline is my channel and my everything my store but Lisa always jumps in to help out so thank you a million times and she also takes a lot of my eBay photography my eBay pictures and or, which I hired her I pay her and um, <laughs> without any benefits, <laughs> no health benefits, no nothing. And she also helps me get donations and she edits all of these videos. God bless you because <laughs> I make a lot of mistakes. But without further ado, we're going to get started today. So hope you enjoy the haul. Please hit that like and subscribe button. I don't know what that's about. Yeah, I was looking at the numbers and you have like 23,000 subscribers and you get about 100 and something likes. But meanwhile, everybody's watching. Yeah. So you guys are either too lazy to hit the like button, the <laughs> thumbs up button. The like button is the thumbs up button because when I was new on YouTube and they said, please like, I didn't know that meant a thumbs up until I heard somebody say, give a thumbs up. And then I was like, oh, but anyway. Yeah. All right. Probably going to have to cut half of that out. <laughs> Here we go. What are we doing first? Let's start with the clothing. Okay. Yes. Does that sound good? Yeah. I'll okay. So first this first piece. one I want to keep. Look how beautiful this is. Got a little fuzz oh. right here. This is loft, and Taylor loft, extra small. So don't have to say I won't be keeping that one. Velvet, beautiful. Really, really pretty. Smocking in the front. Do you guys know smocking? Show the back. And they kind of almost have an angel sleeve. It looks like the sleeve is a little bit yeah, wider. Yeah, just a little bit wider. Really pretty. Peasant blouse. So that is item number one. You should tell them the story too about the bumblebee. Oh yeah, sweater. did we show that sweater? 
somewhere we came up with a uh, Ann Taylor Loft Bumblebee sweater. That might have come out of my closet. And today I was working on listing before making the video because, you know, we're doing all the things all the days, all the time. <laughs> and I listed it. That sweater sold in like literally, I got to check, like 12 minutes or something. Are people just waiting for an Ann Taylor Loft Bumblebee sweater that the minute it comes in, I, I don't know how that happens. So I got $15 for it, which I'm very happy. That was a fair price. So yeah. Nothing so if you like... find bumblebee sweaters, list them right yeah, away. Yeah, get your bumblebee sweaters. <laughs> <list>. <laughs> All right, item number two are Nike Dry Fit Workout Yoga Pants. You hold up the bottom, just, yeah. This has more of like a flare leg, which I kind of like. A skinny leg or a crop goes in and out of style, but I like these. Dry fit. Shoe. Yep, really, really nice. And these are a size extra small. Okay, so we have a skinny person donating. Really pretty. Okay. Well, not really pretty. There we go. <laughs> Somebody commented and said you could use really pretty all the time. It's fine. You know, some people say, um, which I probably do that too. I probably say really pretty. Okay. These are American Eagle stretch. These are a size four. Regular original boot. And do they have a lot of stretch? Oh, uh, a little. Not, yeah, a, a little, little bit. Stretch. Not as much as you would think. They though. look like they're really in good shape. They have a few little marks. I have a tendency not to pick up too many white things or ivory things from the thrift stores because I never see the spots and then I get them home and then I'm destaining everything. So as a general rule, there goes those general rules, I don't um, pick up white or ivory. So there's just that. All right, you wanna show the next item? This dress was mine before I gave it up. That's pretty. And this is Calvin Klein size two. And it does come with a belt. I have the belt at home because I've never organized enough. And why don't you like this anymore? This is beautiful. I've worn it too many times. Okay. So Meaning how many times? <laughs> Four or five. <laughs> but I've worn it to all the events where I know all the people. So Oh, okay. Yeah, I kind of need to yeah, yeah, recycle. Like, Here's Lisa in the dress. <laughs> Yeah. My wearing something too many times is like it's literally falling off my body. I wear the heck out of my clothes, but uh, that's really pretty. Yeah. I noticed Calvin Klein does a lot of sheath dresses. Are they more career? One, two, three. <laughs> career. <laughs> okay. Next up is a striped skirt. Oh, this still has... I think, what is that, Community Aid? This no, is that size. is the is ARC, it? the ARC thrift store. Okay, and this is a size two. I feel like I've sold this skirt before. You, you have. have. Okay. Because I remember when one. we saw this one come into the house, okay. you said that. I think you had a aqua, an aqua one. I had a yellow one too, I think. I probably okay. have this in a couple of colors. Really pretty, really pretty. Here we go. Old Navy, size two. I said that already, right? Striped skirt. It's cute. Ribbon Perfect front. for Easter. Yeah. Does when you're not allowed to go anywhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're all going to be hunting for eggs in our own house. <laughs> we need the rules <laughs> for a pandemic, okay? We got all the, the do's and don'ts, but we need like the social rules. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I can't even, you know, we all going to sit in front of the television and watch the pastor do church? Uh, I need, I need how we're doing this. So I'm very type A. I need to know the rules. I'm a rule follower, as you know. But if I don't know the rules, I'm kind of like floundering. I'm kind of like just going around in circles. All right, next item. Sam and Max, medium. Oh. That's really pretty. What size is that, medium? Medium. Huh, really pretty. I don't know Sam and Max. It almost sounds like something that would you, you would find in TJ Maxx, doesn't it? Just no. like a name that's like a no name. I think it sounds boutique-y. Like, you know how, what is that store that does the, the boutique and their stuff is less, um, I bought the blue necklace there that I just sold. That, that necklace sold quick. What was the name of that store? It's still in the store. Let's see who can guess it first. <laughs> Not me. It's like a boutique. They're their own brand. Really a trendy. Okay, I give up. That, that's all. <laughs> We both lose. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is pretty. <gasps> oh, we love this. Look at, oh, with angel sleeves. Oh, I might have to keep this. I might have to buy this for myself. <laughs> Karen, how much do you want for this? 
What size is this? H&M size 10. 10. I might really want to keep that. What do you think of this color on me, guys? What tassel earrings? I'd have to buy new ones. <laughs> Shucks. Really pretty. Okay, chiffon. Oh, I do say really pretty. Oh, I've got this a really nice is tool. tool. To you, L -L size, yep, medium, new with tags. I should skirt. know this tool is anthropology, isn't it? Vintage inspired wear. Is tool anthropology? I think they are. Unless I'm thinking of somebody else. Hold it up closer. Are the, the colors coming across? Yeah, and show the inner, the inner tag. This is the tag, guys. Well, we could probably tell by the price tag if it's if there, oh, there's no price left on it. Because if it's like, you know, $14.99, then it's Target. If it's like $89, then it's... So we have that skirt. Oh, I see something gold. Do you want to pull that next? Well, okay. <laughs> so the next item that I just spied, gold mesh lace shorts. How good are those? Oh my goodness, these <laughs> are tiny. So, where would you wear gold lace shorts to? Look at that. Who's making this? Nippon Night. Now, Nippon, you know, is a marking for China, too. Should know what date. I don't. Made in Nippon. Right? Pre war, of course. Whatever. <laughs> I'm still getting fallout from not knowing um, Wolf. What's his name now? <laughs> Tom yeah. Wolf. Tom Wolf. <laughs> the <laughs> governor. <laughs> Wasn't that I never heard his name. I just, with everything I have going on in my life, why am I justifying, justifying it? Why do you know my governor's <laughs> name? Okay. We love those. Do we love those? Yes, we do. Pretty. Yeah. Okay. Really pretty. Really? <laughs> I, I didn't say. I did. Okay. <laughs> what else? Pick those up. Next are a pair of express jeans. This seems like a younger person's closet, all of the items that we're seeing, which, which is great. Express jeans, shorts, cutoffs. What size? Zero. Zero. Very tiny person. Okay. They don't look like a zero. No, they don't. The waist looks bigger than that. Okay. You go next. This is a dress. Let's pull this. Who is this by? Pull the this tag. This is Billabong. Oh, yeah. This is like a junior person's closet that was cleaned out, I think. Okay, Aztec. Oh, Cute. I like the feel of it. The feel yeah, it feels like a more silky. I thought it was going to be, uh, you know, the cotton that some of the junior clothing is, and it gets pilly really quick. This isn't that. This is like a like a satin, not a satin, a silky. Is it a large? I believe. Mm, at the bottom. Yep. Yeah. So billabong size large. Like a pretty colors. Yeah, corset front. Yeah. Really nice. <laughs> All right. What else we got? We got we got big mishmash piles down here. This is a something really pretty. Tablecloth? Oh, it's a skirt. It's a wrap skirt. Here is the Do oh, you have another one. Oh, this is so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those. Did you guys ever see these? They're wrap skirts made out of Indian saris, like vintage silk saris. Yep, that's that's pretty. what this is. Wow, that's nice. For a second, I thought it had holes, but it doesn't have holes. It's, it's got little embroidered, clear, like sequins that are embroidered. Let's see if you can see that, all over it. Is it and it's reversible, probably. Yeah, it's reversible. Wow, it that's has, nice. That is so nice. It has the holes that you can put this through. I guess okay, to make yeah, it tighter. A wrap, yeah, it's a wrap skirt. We like that, right? I like that. All right. Next up, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the Dolan Company. You know how the last haul oh, we found Dolan? Yes, yes, Their yes. clothing is always like soft, structured, almost like a t-shirt, but this is not. This is Lulu B. And is that a dress? A tunic? Let's see. No, I think you can wear it as a dress, can't you? With leggings. <laughs> <laughs> the way I wear everything. <laughs> Lagging look pockets. 
pull over and it has a belt? No belt. No, no oh, belt. It just hangs. And it's a size small. Okay. Really nice shape. Doesn't look like it's been worn much. All right. What else? This one is also from the Ark okay. thrift store. And okay. who is this? This is Maeve. Oh, Maeve. size four. Maeve is anthropology. And it has the bow. And what color would we call this? Mushroom? Oh, yeah. You just whip that out. <laughs> That's what popped into my head. Because I just bought you that mushroom risotto. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you guys know about Amy's meals? Okay. I'm going down, <laughs> down the rabbit the ra hole. <laughs> down the rabbit hole. I'm going to get Amy's meals. Hold on one second. Oh. Do you guys know about these? This is Amy's. <laughs> do you just jump into food? <laughs> Amy's made with organic arborio rice. Amy's bowls. Mushroom risotto with peas. So good. So good. And pesto tortellini. Have you guys had these? These are really filling. They look small, but I'll eat one of these for dinner with a salad. I don't know what this has to do with the haul. <laughs> and uh, Lisa picked these up at Target for me because she asked if I wanted anything because we try not to go out too much. And what did you pay for these? $2.30, I want to say. Even if you eat it for a lunch or a snack. Yeah, that, I think it was two, was it 2 dollars It's right around that. Yeah, a little over $2. One bowl, 530 calories, so not the, oh, the Oboreo rice is only 230 calories, and it makes sure it's one serving, because I love when they tell you, <laughs> only 200 calories, and this little box has 10 servings, but um, yeah, so what made me think, oh, mushroom, oh, mushroom yeah. color. <laughs> so if you guys want to try these, um, I don't know why I'm doing a commercial for Amy's bowls. Okay. <laughs> She can't fit it back in the freezer. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, so that's what this is. It's a mushroom risotto dress. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. Now this pile are a few pieces from, oh. I thought I had gone through all of my last day at the, um, at the yard sale, last day at the thrift store, but yes. these are really the last of it. I found a few more pieces on the rack. I thought I'd show these. Land's End, and what size is this? Large. <laughs> that's a little large. 14, 16. It's like a tunic, beachy dress, right? Hey, yeah. Like a shift dress that you throw over your swimwear. That's what I would use it for, cover up. This is all embroidered. Yeah, kind of like dashiki. Do you guys know the word dashiki? I call everything dashiki. Dashiki, I think, came from an African, um, African fashion, and it has embroidery around the yoke in this. So, um, so once in a while, I'll use dashiki, and the stuff seems to have views. So there you go. All right. <laughs> All right, so the next one up is Tommy Bahama. What does that say there? Nine? A size nine? Did somebody write that in? That's what it looks like. I'm not quite sure what goes on with that. It's a linen, cantaloupe colored, men's button down, beachy, fun guy shirt. That's pretty. Yeah, isn't that nice? No, not pretty. <laughs> That's oh. handsome. Handsome. <laughs> I don't know. I, think I like the pretty. color. Yeah, so do I. All right. This one is a t-shirt and it's put out by Lacoste Live. So there is the tag. And it's just a spell out to test your eyesight. What does that say? Lacoste Live. That's all it says. That's all it says. Okay. And then Paris at the bottom. Oh yeah. I thought it said something <laughs> a little more fun. <laughs> but um, is that a spot or is that? No. No, I think it's good. It's just the color of the gray. All right, I have no idea why I bought that. There you go. Okay, so this is the mystery, why did I buy this and what did I buy, that you guys can all answer for me. Stick a hanger over there. What does that say? Bin Trill, I don't even know what that means, with a lot of numbers. Medium. Armor, flight, man's advanced type XT, size unknown. <laughs> Bravo like Echo Echo November Tango Romeo India Lima Lima. Oh, so B it's E Bin Trail. Uh, they spell it out. This must be like Walmart or something. I'm not quite sure. It's like a gas mask pirate. Yeah. Okay. So. I was just grabbing stuff. That's my defense. <laughs> I have no idea. Thirteen. So a size medium. I can always return it. You know, I did ask about returns. This one was from Goodwill. And I said, hey, guys, you're shutting down for an indefinite amount of time. What's going to happen if I need returns? They said, oh, well, we'll take returns when we open. So 
you know, Goodwill, thanks. Thanks for always giving great customer service, at least the Goodwills around me. Really great job. So, all right, okay. We have a couple of more things here. Can you hold that up for me? This is another linen skirt. Linen, when it's decent quality, a lot of times I don't pay heavy attention to the name. I do well with linen. I like linen. And you would think because it wrinkles fairly easily, but linen is very breathable. So um, there's my little commercial for linen. And this one is Dress, Dress Barn. Barn. Size 18. 18, which I think Dress Barn went out of business, right? They're done. Pretty sure Dress Barn is done. I could have just it? killed off I Dress Barn. I thought it was in the outlet still. Uh, Tanger Outlet. I haven't been there in a while. I'm pretty sure they're still open. Okay. If you know if Dress Barn went out of business, can you leave a comment down below? Um, but this is really, I love this. So I'm going to call this, ready for this, a Safari Fit and Flare, uh, a MIDI, M-I-D-I, calf length, right? It is yeah. calf length? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what did I pay for that? I paid four fifty for that. I haven't told you. Well, most of this was donations. Donations. So, so yeah, that's kind of hard. Yeah. To tell how much we paid. We didn't pay anything. <laughs> We just have nice people giving us donations because they just want it out of their house, which I'm very glad to oblige. All right, so now we have two Columbia shirts. This is medium. What's yours? Um, extra large. Don't oh, because I would have lotted these together. And I think they're fishing shirts. Uh, recently, I had one of these PFG, Performance Fishing Gear, and this is called something. You talked about this in one of your other I videos. Know. So I we still haven't figured it out. See, so I did know the governor, and I just forgot. I don't know what this is called either. I have no brain left. Isn't that a pain when you look something up and you do research, and then like two weeks later you forget it, you got to do the research. It's like, I've done this Oh, this before. one is new with tags. Oh, great. Men's yes. originally $29.90. Doesn't that, isn't OS one size? Yeah, we're going to ignore that. So the tag says medium. Yeah, we're going to go and with And then this says one size men's. Yeah, because yeah. so. that can't be one size. No, no it's extra large man fit into that. Yeah. They're fishing shirts. That's all you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The next item up are race... Ray, ray, ray. <laughs> the next item up are wrestling shoes. Is that what these are? Yes. How did I know that? It's got a little, little schmutz. Let me get that off. These are ASICs, and they're a sneaker. Are these girls? I believe they are. Let's see. Size eight and a half. Eight Maybe and men's? Half. Uh, I don't know. Men's eight and a half? Because they're really cool. I really like them. So that's what they look like. They don't look like they've been no, worn they very look much. new, unless it's all inside Oh, on Yeah, worn. I, I still think somebody tried these on and wore them a little bit. So I'm definitely not going to call them new, but... Um, should I call them new? They don't, I don't see anywhere. No, I, I think I'll call them excellent condition. So, here we go with those. <laughs> and is this our last No, we also have okay. this. You want to talk about that? Yes. This is a Jessica Simpson. There's the Jessica Simpson logo. logo. Pretty. I love the shell. It's very, reminds me of a shell, like a seashell. Reminds me of a lobster, and I know lobster, like crustacean. Okay. Yeah, I guess sea life. Flamingo pink? Coral. Is that coral? No, coral's brighter, right? All right, let's see who can name more pinks. Ready, go. Flamingo. Cotton candy. <laughs> Lipstick. No, it has to be something that's... <laughs> Lipstick pink. Carnation. Rose. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> I win. Blush. <laughs> nope, shut you down. Blush. I win. No. I was thinking. <laughs> All right. Get out. And, then <laughs> <laughs> and while she's digging something out, look at this fun thing. We should do this as the thumbnail. Tell where you got it. Um, Melissa sent this to me when I did the resellers meetup. And um, where did she get this? I don't know. I think she said she got it at Dollar Tree. And I thought, wow, somebody's missing out because you could sell these online. If you're getting this for a dollar, what size is this, Barbie? Might be a little a short. A little bit shorter than Barbie. Barbie. But yeah, and you can't use the Barbie name if it's not Barbie, but this is really, really well made. So if you find these, um, <laughs> you should sell them. <laughs> All right. Okay, you hold up one. This next pair of curtains are my donation. This I took down quite a while ago. I had it on these windows here, and now I have 
whatever these are, Pottery Barn up there. Okay. Um, because I used to use this as my office and I wanted something fun. So I took shower curtains and cut them. Did I cut them? No, this is all. No, this is one shower okay. curtain. You bought two Wait, of them. I added this border up here. Yes. And I added a pom-pom trim. You got it. To make like fun Parisian. I was doing like a Parisian theme. So, um, yeah, so these are now curtains. And you know what I'm just realizing though? I hung these up with curtain hooks of some sort. This has oh, no, it has no rod hooks. Yeah, rod holder. So if you wind up buying these, they're not going to seem you any good. You can't hang them. So I don't know what I'll do with them, but I thought they were really they cute. They could probably just add tabs to the back. Oh, yeah, so that's, that's a good idea. The rod will just go through. Slip through it. Yeah. yeah. Or hot glue. You can always hot glue. <laughs> so that ends our scrappy haul of a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Thank you again for joining me. You're welcome. In. And hope everybody is doing well and staying inside and behaving themselves and all of that. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and go out and get what's yours. Mm -hmm.